for spectral and infrared imaging. And I want to show you some applications today and uh, what's all this to do with infrared imaging and the proper lighting. So, first of all, what we have here is a multispectral bar lighting uh, with a, with consisting of 12 LEDs from 400 to 1650 nanometers. And uh, currently in demo mode, it's switched. It's switched between every wavelength separately. To control which output we have, we have here two spectrometers, one for the visible range and one for the infrared range. And to do the imaging, we have a visible and square camera with a CQD sensor. We have a two, a two megapixel camera here, equipped with an infrared lens in that case. So we show something what infrared can do really good, that is detect moisture or water in any way. When running with the with the proper lighting, uh, like wavelengths like 1450 or 1550 nanometer water perfectly absorbs infrared light. Some slices of oak wood from my garden. This is naturally, this is waxed, and this one is uh, moisturized overnight and already equipped with a drop of water here and a drop of water here. So. What we now see is when the light is switching up to the infrared range above 1200, we see the water is getting darker and darker. And this is due to the fact that infrared light is absorbed by water simply and by moisture. So, yeah. And also it can be used for, for wood inspection um, because some, some errors or failures in the material can lead to spectral artifacts that don't show up in the visible range with an RG RGB camera, but you can see some of them in the infrared range. Um, maybe another example here for working in the infrared is silicon inspection. Let me just put my card here. And in the infrared range, silicon turns, transpar turns transparent. Because we have the silicon wafer here. From that side, you don't see uh, you don't see anything in terms of structure, but some fingerprints here. On the other side, we have here electric and these can be seen through the silicon another sample for silicon inspection is uh, like bonded wafers bonded wafers we have here you can see here the uh, the frame but on the back on the back side it's it's nearly blank when you put it under infrared light at a certain wavelength even that becomes transparent. I, uh, I still rely on the, on the absorption of water or special parts of water in the infrared. Right now, when we look at the table in the visible light, we only have white material. This is sugar and salt. So, the human eye cannot distinguish, the human tongue can. But looking in the IR with a 450 and 1550 uh, nanometer light on, you can clearly distinguish this one is darker and this one is lighter. This is, of course, because uh, sugar consists of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen in a form like uh, carbon has the same amount as, as water, so two hydrogen and one oxygen. That absorbs infrared light again. This is normal table salt, and this doesn't absorb, it just reflects, so it's staying right here.